going on everybody geek here with a quick um follow-up video to last night's tech talk on the 4090 fe flood of data that came out um as we're seeing today there are new videos coming out on the third party aibs uh jay's two cents uh put out an asus rog strix um benchmark video and i had somebody from last night's video that asked a question uh in a dm to me last night while i was sleeping uh or this morning before i woke up and saw jay's two cents is, is asking why would they care to get a 4090 if the frame rates the fps was worse and uh, i had to go back and look at it and have a little chit chat back and forth with it but the reality of the situation was uh they were wanting to understand and i guess we needed to clarify the difference between 1080p, 1440p, and a 4K. Um, now, there's two different ways to look at it. You can look at the resolution and capabilities of your monitor in conjunction with your graphics card. Do you have the power from the GPU in your system to actually display what wants to be or is able to be displayed on the monitor? An example is at 1080p, you were, the goal is 60 frames or 60 FPS, right? That's what the human eye wants to see, the smooth, no stutter. And you drop below 60, you start having some less than great or fantastic uh, experiences with whatever you're watching or playing. So now remember, uh, the gold standard used to be for a while that 1080p, and most monitors, as I said last night, it still boggles my mind, most monitors at the store, Walmart, Costco, uh, Sam's Club, all those places are 1080p monitors. Now... The, the thing is on those monitors, too, they have different hertz or refresh rates, right? 60 hertz, 140, 120 hertz, 144, 165, 240, 265. And what that means is essentially just look at those hertz as what the max capability for a frame rate is. So if you have a monitor, a 1080p monitor, and its max hertz is 60, your 1080p 60 frames per second. If you have a 1080p monitor and it's 120 hertz, you could do 120 hertz pretty well. Uh, 144 hertz uh, of one, 144 FPS. Uh, or once you get to 144 hertz, all of a sudden that's 1440p resolution quality because then you can run 1440 at 144 FPS. Now we all know the the eye the sees to a certain point. And I'm not going to go that far down the um, the rabbit hole, but you get better reaction times, especially in first-person looter shooter games where reaction and aiming and target detail is is really, really required. Being able to have that split-second reaction to get, if you're in a esports or something, is big for people. For me, not so much. But anyways, so what you have is you have, I'm going to go over the resolutions real quick. You have 720, uh, 10 to, uh, 1280 by 720, 720p. 1920 by 1080 is 1080p. You have 2560 by 1440, that's 1440p, uh, and that's considered qual, uh, quad HD, okay, not full HD. A 38, uh, 3840 by 2160 is 4K or 2160p. Then you have 7680, 4320, which is 8K at 4320p. We're not able at that point yet to really truly do much with 8K other than watch movies. Um, but uh as we said before when they look at these graphics that uh jay's two cents put out and the reason i like jay's two cents videos on this one is he didn't go on the power side of it he didn't go any of the extra bells and whistles that the cards do and the the, the configuration curves and all that stuff he just showed games with certain things turned on and certain things turned off and the basic resolutions okay so he here uh he has a monitor that they're testing on it's a 4k monitor I don't know all the details of the monitor. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm assuming the monitor has the capability at 4K to do at least 120 hertz to 144 hertz. Okay, pretty sure it does. But at a 1080p monitor, you're going to get on a ROG Strix playing Cyberpunk 27 with everything turned off, ultra preset, um, all that stuff's off. You're going to get 82 frames. With the ROG Strix, you're going to get 79 frames with the 4090 FE. That's at 4K. Now, remember, when you go um, from 1080p to 4K, you might think, well, it's, it's 1080p to 2160p, and that's only doubling it. Actually, that is 
um, because you're doubling the, horiz the horizontal and you're doubling the vertical, you're actually four times the number of pixels or the density of the graphic detail. Not, not twice, but four times it, okay? So you're going to see a drop because all of a sudden you're taking and you're quadrupling the amount of graphical display calculations and all this stuff movements rendering uh color shadow everything and this is without ray tracing on this is without dlss or fsr you are for all practical purposes quadrupling and if your monitor has hertz refresh rates that are limited you will see a definite drop off right um so at 1080 i'm assuming they're having at least 60 frames probably on this monitor probably 120 144 Hertz, so they're able to maybe even higher since they're getting 204. There's other things that go into it, but um, you're going to have a higher performance. And then a 1440, which is what I like to play at, even though I have a 4K monitor, um, I'm getting 161. I, I kind of go for the sweet spot in between the two worlds. And then at 4K, 2160p, you have 82 frames or 79. Uh, and then on the 3090s, you can see in the 3090 Strix, you have a significant drop off. 40% or so. Uh, and even on the, the AMD RDNA 2 6950 XT Red Devils, one of their fastest cards before RDNA 3 comes out, uh, you see a significant drop as well. But when you turn, and then when you turn on the ray trace, and I'm using Cyberpunk 2070 for my slides because we all know that game is hugely graphic, is a huge graphic um, just sync. There's a ton of details in it. And he turned on Ray Trace Ultra. Um, again, DLSS is off. When you turn DLSS on, um, there was a video we covered last night uh, from the hour that went into how that performance gets boosted. What NVIDIA said is true. Uh, you do get a huge performance increase, like three or four hundred percent. Let me see if I can pull that up on another screen and then drag that over. Um, Give me one second. Is this it? Uh, bear with me here a second. This is the hour site. And he was he did a lot more detail on the FE and um he oh, I freaking hate YouTube video ads. Give me a second to get past this one here. Uh, okay, skip. Uh, this is Requiem. I know he did. I know he's got a cyberpunk. There's Justice. Uh, come on, cyberpunk. Uh, okay. Right here. right here as you can see when he turned dlss on with it off versus on 339 percent performance increase okay so that's a whole different story we're just talking about uh resolution 1080p versus 4k um they're 2160p okay it went from roughly what was that in jay's video 44 43 to oh my gosh to 139 frames that's that's significant so dlss does make a big difference but we're not talking about the software driver boosts and everything else we're just talking about the raw out of the box kind of thing and just turning something on and you see the performance because ray tracing is pixelization it's shadowing it's all these things that go into it so you are going to see a hit and people are like why well, why is it worth it to spend the money on a, on a on a rock strict if it's dropping under 60 frames or a 4090 fe well if you compare it to the 3090 ti the 3090 strix the 6950 xt or even older cars uh if you go backwards and you look at the 3080 ti's the drops it's you can't have ray tracing on uh, it, it's it's dang near impossible to play cyberpunk with ray tracing on a 3080. Um, so some of this goes to say some of these newer next generations and why the hour had um, had uh, requiem on their requiem came out and said 
uh, that you need a 3060 or better to play their game. Just period. So a lot of these new games out there that are coming out, they're not even caring about older generation RTX 10, 20, or 2000 series cards or any of that stuff. You're going to have to go next generation or new generation. Um, so that's where the performance is coming in. So remember, you are going to have to um, make the decision you have based on your monitor's capabilities, your GPU's horsepower, what you want to game at. But this is where these cards are making huge differences. To be able to get with Ray Tracing Ultra on to 44 frames at 4K is pretty freaking insane. Not really truly playable. You could play, but you're going to have some stutters and stuff and it'll be noticeable to the eye. But being able to do that at 1440 at 86 frames for the detail uh, and for the game experience, since it's, it's a single player and it's not competition or anything like that that is an amazing amazing enrichment opportunity for a game so hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer if you want some better details on it let me know uh, i'm not going to go into the details of how much the screens can expand to if you go from a 27 inch to a 28 inch to a 32 to a 38 to 43 to 52 65 70. those that's a whole different ball, ball of wax and that's more monitor based the resolution display and the horsepower and everything that you want for a gaming PC at this point, which is the, what we're specif really looking at, not so much for the consoles. That's a whole different type of build on their graphics cards. Um, again, it's how much data is being thrown at the screen. You're going from 1080p to four, uh, 2160p. That isn't doubling it. That's quadrupling it. Um, 1440 is more like a double. Uh, so it's the amount of enrichment and the graphics on the screen, how much you can handle, how much can your graphics card actually process. And remember that these 4090 cards are actually truly doing 100 teraflops. That's 100 trillion micro processes per second. Okay, so the cards are beefy, really, really beefy. And they, their performance in games being on average 40 to 80 percent performance increase from a 4090 to a 3090 is insane anyways let me know what you're going with and if you have questions in the comments below uh, again if you like this stuff i'm going to be doing a whole breakdown as all this stuff comes out hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up let me know give me some questions below that i can go do some research on hopefully get you an answer to uh i i, I love this stuff anyways i look forward to seeing you guys in game in chat in comments and until then i'll see you around and stay safe out there